All right, let's dive in today. Um, we're looking at 0x VM cryptocurrency nodes. Oh, okay. And we're going to see if they could actually help you earn some passive income. Sounds good. And I know the world of crypto, it can be pretty overwhelming. Yeah. But that's why we're here, right? Hi. We've gone through all this information, YouTubers, ROI analysis, all that stuff. Oh, I got it all. So you don't have to. Exactly. And what's really got me interested in 0xVM is that it's trying to be the first Bitcoin native node project. Right. That's a big deal, like, right? They're not messing around with some like no name blockchain. Yeah. This is Bitcoin we're talking about. Yeah, definitely a big deal. They want to bring all that cool stuff like smart contracts and DeFi, those decentralized finance apps to Bitcoin. And that's huge because, you know, Bitcoin, it might be the king of crypto. Yeah. But it's always lagged behind in terms of smart contracts, you know, right. platforms like Ethereum have had that for a while now. Exactly. And 0xVM wants to level the playing field. Yeah, for sure. Like imagine Bitcoin getting a turbo boost. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like Ethereum has those layer two solutions, yeah. Optimism and Arbitrum. Right. They made things faster and cheaper. And that's exactly what 0xVM is aiming to do for Bitcoin. Yeah. Become the first truly production ready and Turing complete solution. Right. Now, I got to be honest, that Turing complete thing, it sounded pretty techy to me at first. Yeah. But basically, it means it can handle any kind of computation you throw at it. Right. Opens up a world of possibilities for developers. I like to think of it this way. Okay. Right now, Bitcoin, it's like this super secure vault. Right? Okay. Yeah. You store your valuables there, but that's kind of it. You can't really do much else. Right. But 0xVM, they're trying to transform that vault into a full-blown financial center. Oh, wow. Trading, lending, borrowing, creating new assets. All within this safe environment. Exactly. Now, let's talk about the masterminds behind this whole thing. Bjorn and Casey, the co-founders, they're not hiding in the shadows. Mm -hmm. You know, they're doxxed. Their faces, their names are out there. Which is, it's really important in crypto. Oh, yeah. Transparency goes a long way. Absolutely. People need to trust who they're dealing with. Especially with their money, right? Exactly. So... Bjorn's got that strong tech background, Google X, venture capitalist, the whole shebang. Yeah. And Casey brings that finance expertise to the table. Perfect combo. A pretty strong team. And they've got some serious financial backing, too. Oh, yeah. Over $5.2 million from some major players. Yeah. Jump Crypto, Razor, UOB Ventures. Those are big names. <laughs> They're not messing around, clearly. That kind of backing, it really signals that they believe in 0xVM. Definitely. Gives it legitimacy, you know? Absolutely. And people see that and they're like, okay, this might be something worth looking into. Right. It's not just some random project anymore. Exactly. So let's get down to brass tacks now. How can you actually earn passive income with this? Right. Well, they're offering what are called validator nodes, and each one costs $700. 700 bucks. Right. And the cool thing is, you don't have to be some tech wizard to run one. Right, because I'm definitely not. Yeah, you just purchase it and then delegate it through their website. They handle all the complicated stuff. Yeah, all the hosting, maintenance, you don't have to worry about it. That's kind of like having a mini Bitcoin business running in the background, right? Yeah, in a way. And speaking of online business, if you're looking for some passive income streams, you should check out BrianGarvin.com. Okay. That's Brian with an I. Got it. He's got this free affiliate guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Over 12,300 words of pure gold. Wow. You just put in your name and email, click the link they send you, and you're good to go. Easy enough. Yeah. The link's in his YouTube bio. Cool. So, back to Zero XVM. You earn rewards with their own token, XVM. Right. They've set aside a good chunk, 26% of the total supply, just for node rewards. Wow. That's generous. Yeah. So, every day, 700,000 XVM tokens are split among all the active nodes. Okay, so the more nodes, the smaller the share, right? Right. But here's the kicker. The rewards are cut in half every six months. Oh, interesting. The classic crypto move. Incentivize early adoption. Get in on the ground floor, right? Exactly. The early bird gets the worm. And this whole reward system, it goes on for four years. Four years, okay. So let's talk numbers now. What kind of ROI are we looking at potentially? Well, based on what's out there, the nodes sold, projections for the token value. Yeah. You could see a significant return, potentially even earn back your initial investment in just a few months. That's pretty enticing. Definitely. But we got to remember, crypto is a risky game. Oh, yeah. Never forget that. No investment is a sure thing, especially in this world. We'll dig into those risks a little later. Absolutely. So we've covered a lot today, what Xerox VM is all about, who's behind it, how to get involved. A good overview. But we're just getting started. Stick around. We'll be right back. 
to break down the nitty-gritty of Zero Axe VM's potential ROI, their referral program, and most importantly, those risks you need to watch out for. All right, looking forward to it. So we've talked about the potential, but what are people actually saying about Zero Axe VM? You know, the crypto community, especially those looking at passive income, are they paying attention? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. YouTube is buzzing with people sharing their experiences. Oh, really? Yeah. Everybody's trying to figure out, is this thing legit or not? It's early days, but yeah. it's good to see people talking about it, you know? Yeah, exactly. There are some interesting insights coming out from those who've actually jumped in already. Right. Like Rishi from Crypto Mischief. Oh, yeah. I've seen him. He's pretty well known, right? He claims to be running four nodes. Four nodes already. Wow. Yeah. He's pretty bullish on it. Did some calculations, you know, based on current token distribution and all that right thinks you could potentially see a return on your investment in just a month a month that's crazy <laughs> yeah if it pans out that's pretty wild of course we got to take those youtube projections with a grain of salt oh right? absolutely always yeah the real roi it all depends on how the market moves token price all that jazz yeah lots of factors at play but it's still good to see those real world experiences you know yeah for sure it's not just theory anymore exactly it's like okay people are actually using this thing right another youtuber farrington crypto he was all about how easy it is to set up. Oh, really? Yeah, he was raving about it. Super user-friendly. That's a big plus, for sure. Yeah, you don't need to be a coding genius or have a server farm in your basement. Thankfully not. Zero ZM takes care of all the techie stuff. You just right. buy the node, delegate it on their website, boom, you're done. So easy. A caveman could do it. Yeah, exactly. He even compared it to some other successful node projects. Okay. Strong block, Thornos, those have seen some pretty impressive price jumps. Right, yeah. So the thinking is, if Zero XVM follows that same path, early birds could be sitting pr pretty big. Potentially, yeah. But, you know. Crypto's a wild ride. You said it. What goes up must come down. Absolutely. Always do your research, folks. We're not financial advisors, just two people talking about crypto. Yeah, for sure. D-Y-O-R. Always. So ease of use, that's a plus. But there have been some concerns about centralization. Ah, yeah, that's a common concern with these kinds of projects. Yeah, CryptoJar, another YouTuber, he brought that up. Okay, what's he saying? He's worried that because everyone's delegating their nodes to Zero Praise VM for hosting, it gives them a lot of power. Right, too much control in one place. Exactly. Ideally, there should be more options for running nodes independently. You know? Yeah, keep things decentralized. That's the whole point of crypto, right? Exactly. But, you know, Crypto Jar, despite that concern, he's still cautiously optimistic. Okay. Why is that? Well, he thinks the team's credentials and the backing from those big players, it's a good sign. Right. They're committed to making this thing work. That's the hope, at least. So, mixed bag from the YouTubers, what about the wider crypto community? What are they saying? Well, on forums, Twitter, there's a lot of talk about how this could impact Bitcoin as a whole. Yeah, it's a big deal. A lot of people see it as a game changer, you know, finally bringing smart contracts and DeFi to Bitcoin. It's like Bitcoin's finally catching up, right? Yeah. In a way, imagine Bitcoin, not just digital gold, but a platform for all those cool decentralized apps. Lending, borrowing, trading, creating new assets, all on Bitcoin. Exactly. And all backed by that Bitcoin security. That's the vision, right? It is. And if they pull it off, it could have a ripple effect throughout the entire crypto space. Other blockchains might have to step up their game, right? Oh, for sure. Competition is always good. Leads to more innovation. Exactly. Pushes everyone to be better. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Zero XVM is still early days. Very early. They have that token generation event, the TGE. Scheduled for October 2024. Right. That's when XVM becomes tradable on exchanges. The big moment. Right. We'll finally see what the market really thinks. Yeah. What's it actually worth? Lots of hype leading up to a TGE. Always is. And with a project like this, all eyes are going to be on it. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be interesting to see how that price fluctuates once it hits the open market. Definitely. Early investors will be looking for a return, but the long-term success... It depends on attracting a wider audience. Yeah, become a real part of the Bitcoin ecosystem. And while we wait for that TGE, you know, there are other ways to potentially earn online. Oh, yeah. If you're into that, I'd recommend checking out BrianGarvin.com. Okay. That's Brian with an I. Got it. He's got a free guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Nice. It's packed with info, great resource for anyone looking at affiliate marketing. I'll check it out. The link's in his YouTube bio, right? Yeah. So we've covered a lot, the excitement, the potential the cautionary tales, the research. It's a lot to take in. 
What are your thoughts so far? Yeah. Feeling the buzz or are you a bit skeptical? It's good to balance both, you know, cryptos full of opportunities, but also pitfalls. For sure. We've seen projects skyrocket and then crash and burn. Yeah, rug pulls, all that. Exactly. So dig deeper, explore their website, read their white paper, talk to the community. Don't just take our word for it. Form your own opinion. Exactly. We'll be back in a sec to look at what 0xVM success or failure could mean for Bitcoin's future. All right. Sounds good. All right, so we've really gone deep on 0xVM, the team, all that stuff, but let's zoom out for a sec. What does this all mean for Bitcoin itself? The million dollar question, right? If 0xVM actually pulls this off, you know, bringing smart contracts layer two, scaling to Bitcoin, we could see a massive shift in how people see Bitcoin, how they use it. Yeah, right now, Bitcoin's like digital gold, right? Mm. Store of value hedge against inflation. Exactly. But what if it becomes this platform for all those decentralized apps we keep hearing about? It could be huge, right? Imagine Bitcoin not just for holding and trading, but a whole ecosystem for DeFi. DeFi, yeah. Decentralized finance. Lending, borrowing, trading, creating new assets, all on Bitcoin with that Bitcoin security. We could see a wave of innovation developers rushing to build on Bitcoin. Like, what happened with Ethereum? Absolutely. It could be a whole new era for these decentralized apps. And think about the impact on the rest of the crypto world. Oh, yeah. If Bitcoin becomes this powerhouse platform. Other blockchains would have to step up big time. Competition is good, though, right? Always pushes everyone to be better. More innovation. Exactly. But we got to remember 0xVM still has a lot to prove. Oh, yeah, definitely. They got to make sure the platform is secure, scalable, easy to use. Sure. And they need to convince those developers that... Bitcoin is the place to be. Right, with these new smart contract capabilities. Plus, there's the whole regulatory landscape. Oh, yeah, that's always changing. Governments are still trying to figure out how to deal with all this crypto stuff. It's a wild west out there, but that's part of the excitement too, right? Definitely. Yeah. It feels like we're seeing the birth of something big, something that could change everything. Yeah, potentially. And that brings us to a big question. What if 0xVM fails? What if they don't deliver? Interesting question. Does Bitcoin just stay as digital gold? Or does some other project come along and try to do what 0xVM is trying to do? It's a real possibility, right? The future of Bitcoin might depend on projects like this succeeding. So as we wrap up this deep dive into 0xVM, think about this. Do your own research. Explore the project. Decide for yourself. Is this a game changer or just hype? We've given you the info. Now it's up to you. The crypto world is always changing. So stay curious, stay informed, stay engaged. Absolutely. And if you're looking for ways to earn online, don't forget to check out BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Yeah. It's got that free guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. It's a great resource for exploring online opportunities. Thanks for that. So thanks for joining us on this deep dive. We hope you've learned a thing or two about 0xVM, the potential of crypto nodes, and the future of Bitcoin. It's been a great discussion. It has. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me.